one for all art detectives. Lines of discovery, 225 years of American drawing. Well, this is pretty clearly America sat on the front page. What we have here is an exhibition catalogue from the Columbus Museum, Columbus, Georgia. So it's a rare import from Bibliophile. It was published at £25, or the equivalent, and here's why. Here's the publishing history, 2006, but it was published in the UK here at £25, and now it's just £8.50. And together in one big volume is a truly significant collection, both in terms of depth and breadth, of the drawings and American works of art on paper. It comprises a new major thematic and chronological catalogue and survey of 200 examples in graphite, charcoal, monotype and pastel. And the nearly 100 artists are grouped together into five chapters. A further 129 works are represented as comparisons in colour and mono and interspersed among the images are key works. So we have the famous artists like Mary Cassatt, John Singleton Copley, Benjamin West, John Soane, Oscar Bloimer, and uh, works of modernism with compositions like Hans Hoffmann, Nancy Grossman, Jack Beale, looking at the human form, and Andrew N. Wyeth, documenting the changes, uh, face, changing faces of the natural world. There's lots of general texts as well on American drawings with lists of individual artists. Isn't that so beautiful? That is a Winslow Homer. Alfred Thompson Bricker in New Hampshire, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So there's much to discover here for art detectives in Britain of the history of the colonial period onwards. As I say, £25 book, but through Bibliophile Books this is a bargain at just £8.50. Lines of discovery.